beautiful bunch of people, welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I'm actually gonna be testing new look makeup. I'm so excited for this. Okay, wait, look. Look at my bag of new look makeup. I am really excited. I've never actually had the chance to try new look makeup before, so this like video is an excuse to buy it. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna give you guys my complete honest opinions on this makeup. I have actually done like a couple of videos similar to this with other brands before, and you guys seem to like freaking love them. So I'm gonna leave those down below for you guys to check out if you want to after this video. But yeah, it's been so highly requested. So if you all enjoy, then please smash a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. Also, go subscribe to my daily vlogging channel as well because I'm gonna leave that down below and a vlog every single day because that's what a daily vlogger is. What? <laughs> Do you know what? Have you ever had it when like, sometimes like I go to flick my hair as a joke and like I have my hair in a bun and it's like, it's so annoying, but I have a I have a pony so I can actually flick my hair now. But yeah, anyways, I'm so just like rambling off topic. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. Right, so I'm gonna start off with primer. This is a illuminating primer. So I think this is gonna be like perfect for my skin because I love primers. Okay, I just dropped it. I love primers that are like very moisturizing. I've said this so many times. I don't really have like particularly dry, dry skin, but I just, I like my skin feeling moisturized, you know? So it comes in like this squeezy little tube, which is really nice because it's easy to get it out. So I've got like the white cream on my hand and Oh, it is very moisturizing actually. It's like a um, serum is what it feels like on my skin. So, mm, so far so good as far as the primer goes. I mean, you can't really judge it. I'm just like wiping this all over my face. I can't really judge it much until, you know, all of my makeup's on my face, but it's definitely very moisturizing. Right, so moving on to foundation. So this is the No Shine Mattifying Foundation. Overall with the packaging, I really like it. It's very standard, it's very simple. There isn't really much to it. But I definitely prefer like, you know, more like simple packaging rather than just too over the top and just like tacky overall. So yeah, I picked up this foundation. I'm loving the packaging. So I actually had, like, obviously had like a sneaky look at this. Now I actually, the one thing I love about this, which a lot of people will definitely dislike, is it's actually a stick foundation. So there's not like a pump to apply it. But I don't know why, but I really have a thing about stick foundations. I actually love them because it's so much easier to apply the product to your skin. You just literally wipe it on and it's just so easy. So Oh god, it's like spilling everywhere. So the first thing I have to say about this is I'm definitely loving the fact that it's a stick foundation. I have no idea if this is my shade or not because I didn't really get a chance inside New Look to actually try it out. So this is in the shade Natural Beige. I'm really hoping it works. I've actually got like a tan on my body so I'm really hoping it matches to my neck colour rather than my actual face colour. So that's what I'm hopefully, hopefully that's how it's going to match. So I'm just going to wipe this on. Look, I you can see it's just so easy to apply on your face like the product just comes out so much better with a stick I just I just love it I love applying foundation like this okay right it's all on my face now I think the color once it's blended it will actually look really good so I'm gonna be applying this with my damp beauty blender and just you know dabbing it around so far, it's, oh my goodness, it's blending really nicely actually. I'm really liking this. I'm not sure if this is also down to the primer because the primer was very moisturizing. So I think that definitely has something partly to do with this, but it's blending so nicely. And I think, I, don't, I think I picked a too light, lighter shade. Now, I, it's only because my neck is very dark, but we will, we will make do with what we've got. Also, do you know what though? One mistake I think I've made is, I think I've actually applied too much to my face because I think with this foundation, a little definitely goes a long way. And it's blending, look how well it blends. That's actually amazing. I'm just, I'm so annoyed at myself for not getting a darker shade. It looks so dark inside the packaging. So if I was you guys, 
definitely go for a darker shade than what it looks in the packaging or if you have time just try it out in the shop okay so here is the foundation that honestly blended on my skin so quickly and I don't really want to like keep comparing brands but if I compare this to the H&M foundation that I tried last week I definitely prefer the new look one and I think they're around the same price it's about like mid drugstore kind of price I would say I think it was $7.99 I might be wrong I'm gonna leave like the price is somewhere on the screen. But yeah, I definitely prefer this foundation because it blended on my skin so nicely. It was so easy to apply. It was so quick. My skin, it feels so moisturized. Like a little goes a long way. And it definitely doesn't feel cakey as well. Like I would definitely use that foundation again. And I said that about the H&M one last week. So this one, is pretty good. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using this Cover and Protect Concealer Crayon. Now, honestly, for me personally, crayons have never worked for me because I just find they're so hard to blend. So, I mean, this could like shock me. I really don't think it, like, I wanna have like, I don't know, I have like good positive thoughts on this, but just crayons have never really worked out for me, but I'm just gonna kind of like, you know, just not even, just, you know, just give straight away my honest opinion as if I've never, well, I've never used this before. Firstly, I wish I got a lighter shade, but they were completely out of stock. This was the only one left. And they did actually also have liquid uh, concealers, but they had actually, they're actually out of stock as well. So this was literally the only concealer I could find in the store. But this is gonna have to do, I, I think it's definitely easy to apply though. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna apply some underneath my eye. Oh, actually, it is quite a good shade, I guess. It is a little bit lighter than my foundation, so that's good. I'm really liking the shade of it so far, and it definitely is very easy to apply. However, the only thing that I'm worried about is if it's actually easy to blend. However, I kind of really doubted myself because this is a lot easier to apply than I was expecting it to be. Normally they're really hard, but that's gone on my face really, really nicely. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. <laughs> it's really hard to see how much I'm putting on though. Like I think I put like way too much under my eye, but hey ho. So I'm gonna put a little bit going up my nose and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead as well. When I say a little bit, I basically mean quite a lot. <laughs> I've got quite a lot on my face, but it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and try and blend, oh my God. Hey, this is actually blending a lot better than I was expecting it to. I really doubted myself on this. This, honestly, this I genuinely think is one of the best concealer crayons I've used because normally every time I use a concealer crayon or every time I've tried to use a concealer crayon, it's just so hard to blend. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's, they're quite thick and heavy, so that's why they're really hard to blend. And it, I mean, it definitely is making my makeup look a little bit more cakey, but it's blending a lot nicer than I thought it was. So I'm disappointed in myself. Saffron, come on. I so doubted myself with this concealer, but actually it's blending a lot better than I was expecting it to. Right, so this is the concealer blended on my skin. Honestly, it's definitely brightened my skin up. It's definitely a brightening like concealer. It's really done the job and I'm actually really I'm really surprised honestly. I'm actually really liking that. I believe it was $3.99 I'm actually glad that the liquid concealers were run out because now that's actually given me hope with crayon concealers I actually genuinely really like that now I'm actually gonna go on with a contour palette and this is the contour powder shading kit and I believe it has a contour, a bronze, and a highlight shade. I really like the fact that it has a mirror as well. It's so much nicer, the fact that it has a mirror. I literally hate palettes that don't because if you're like ever running late for anything and you're on the train and you just wanna like sort yourself out and you don't have a mirror, it's like so frustrating. I think I'm gonna mix the darkish brown and then the more of the like lightish beige -y kind of brown together to get that like perfect kind of bronze on my face. Okay, I'm gonna to go in with the contour brush. I didn't actually really want to get new look makeup brushes. I might do that as a separate video, but I wanted to use brushes that I knew kind of like worked, if that makes sense. So then I'll just basically be focusing on the makeup, so that's why. But I'm gonna be mixing these colors together and I'm just gonna be applying it where I would normally contour my face, which would be my cheekbones. The only thing with powders 
is it so hard to get in the right place? That literally just looks like a big blob of like brown on my cheek. But when it's blended, like it'll be fine. But it's pretty much impossible to get a dead straight line when it's a powder. So I'm trying my hardest, guys. I'm also applying some on my jawline. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead as well. That again, I will blend in after. This is a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. This is gonna take a lot. Like it's actually blending really quickly on my skin, but uh, I think I definitely should have just used the lighter shade because look how flipping dark that is. I feel like we've kind of had a color issue this video. By the time it's blended guys, it's gonna be all good. This is the contour blended into my skin as much as I really could blend it into my skin. It blended so easily. I feel like so far, I literally have nothing bad to say about New Look makeup, apart from the fact that in the Brighton store where I actually went to buy the makeup, pretty much all of it was sold out. So maybe like if you know your shades and stuff, maybe like grab it online or whatever. Now I know I did actually just contour my face, but honestly, I'm not even joking. I went into New Look and I was looking at the highlighter. I always look at the highlighters first because it's like my favorite thing ever. And I saw like all the blushes and the bronzers and the shimmers and oh wow. So I never ever ever use like a bronzing shimmer, but honestly, because I fell in love with the packaging and just the way this looked, I honestly just like couldn't resist. So I'm gonna be applying some of this like bronze shimmer on my face as well, just because it's so flipping pretty. The bronzers, the blushes, and the highlighters are literally insane. Like I'm obsessed and I haven't even tried them yet. I just I really hope they're gonna be as pigmented as they look. Okay, it comes out really flipping dark and it's so shimmery. Part of me wishes that I didn't apply too much. I really tried to not apply that much, but I, I've i got way too much on. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take a lot of blending though. So the blusher is actually so, so pretty. It's so shimmery. I'm really hoping it's as pigmented as it looks. I actually got the one in the shade Pale Blush. I was so undecided for such a long time because all the blushes are literally so, so stunning. And we all know me, I love a little bit of shimmer. So my first impressions, it is really, really nice. However, it's not really giving much blush. It's really just giving a shimmer. Like honestly, it just looks like a pinky toned highlighter. So this isn't as amazing as I thought it would be because I thought it, maybe I should have got like a darker shade pink, but really this could be highlighter. I feel like now when I put highlighter on my face, I'm literally just gonna look like a hot shimmery mess. Right, so this is the highlighter that I picked up. This is in the shade Pink Pearl. So I guess it has, I don't know, it looks more like whitish in real life, but I guess it's gonna have some sort of like pinky toned to it. So let's take a little look. This highlighter is so pigmented and so pretty. I actually love this, guys. Look at that. That is what you call a good highlighter. My cheek is like glowing. Like my cheekbones stand out so much when I have highlighter on it. Like literally I cannot go a day without because I feel so bare when I don't wear highlighter. So with everything that I've used on my face so far, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with how well it's turned out and how easily everything's blended. The only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is the blusher because I was so excited about and honestly, it just looked like a highlighter. It was literally just pure shimmer. There was no like pinky toned really in it. I'm now gonna go in with eyes. I don't actually fill in my eyebrows really because I actually, I mentioned this in last week's video, but I've actually got my eyebrows microbladed, so like semi-tattooed, so I don't really have, I need to brush them into place, but I don't actually really need to fill them in. Right, now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. Now, there were, I think there was like six different options with the eyeshadow palette, so there was like a quite big range for like, eyeshadow colors and like the options, which is really, really good. This palette, oh my goodness, I can't open it, but I am totally obsessed. Now, the only issue with this palette is it doesn't actually have a name for the shadows, so I'm just gonna go in with this one here, whatever the hell it's called. It's kind of like a brownie, pinkyish tone, I guess. I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. I'm really not like an eyeshadow master, so I'm really not gonna go like above and beyond with this eye look. I'm literally just gonna blend this in all over my eyelid, uh, just so it's like a really simple look, you know? Ooh. 
This colour is actually so pretty, it's so so natural and just, I don't know, I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna honestly, th this is like the most basic look ever, but I'm literally just gonna go in with like this pink kind of like shimmer here, which is really, really pretty. And I'm just gonna apply some on the lower of my eyelid and then also in the corner of my eyes as well. The only thing I would say is that is a lot and a lot of full back with this eyeshadow like literally it's just like crumbling my face is getting like it's getting more and more shimmer on it as this makeup routine goes on i'm honestly gonna be a glowing goddess by the end of this and to be honest for the first time ever I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. <laughs> now, I didn't pick up an eyeliner and I didn't actually pick up falsies, but I did pick up a mascara and this mascara is the False Lash Extreme Volume Mascara. And there was actually quite a big variety when it came to mascaras. I think there was about like four or five options. I think there was, I think there was like four or five options. So there was like a big variety, like considering it's mascara. So this is kind of the one that I really, really liked and I'm just gonna apply this to my lashes. So far, I'm really liking this mascara because it's definitely given them a lot of length without making it look really clumpy and they're really nice and spread out. So I'm definitely all about this mascara. Okay, so this is the mascara. Overall, I'm actually really feeling it, especially because usually I always wear falsies and there were no falsies that I even wanted to try on my face because honestly, the false eyelashes just really, they weren't good. My honest opinion, I really didn't like them. They were just, they were like smaller than my natural lashes. So I was just like, nah, I'll just, I just pass without them but for the mascara they've definitely given them a lot of length and they've definitely spread my eyelashes out as well they're not too clumpy especially because I find like I always have a problem when it comes to mascara I end up always making my mascara really clumpy so they've definitely like spread them out and given them a lot of length so I'm really feeling them I'm now going to go on to our last step which is actually lipstick now I've got two different options because I was so undecided on what lipstick to go for because there was two different styles now there is the super matte liquid lipsticks and then there is also the this is the matte velvet lipstick crayon and I actually love lipstick crayons as well and I literally am obsessed with this color so I'm gonna give you two different looks so this is what the crayon looks like pretty much just like a crayon but let's actually give this a go lipstick crayon that I've actually got on my lips right now. It's a lot more purpley than I was expecting it to be but it was so easy to apply because it's like really really creamy. I think I'm actually just going to apply the pink over the top. I think I can kind of like ombre this and I think it could look really cool so I'm now going to go in with the super matte liquid lipstick. Okay I'm going to give this lipstick a oh it, the, the packaging of this is like so exciting. It looks so much more expensive than it actually is which is like always a good thing you know so I'm gonna like put this in the middle of my lips and kind of ombre it I've got some on my chin this is a lot more pink than I was expecting but it's so nice I just don't know how I'm gonna ombre this I'm actually living for this color now now with that lipstick it actually dried matte really really quickly now I'm gonna give the good old kiss test to see if it actually works okay the only thing is Look, it's supposed to, I mean, I've left it for about 40 seconds, maybe, and it feels kind of dry, but obviously, I don't know, maybe I should have waited a little bit longer, but look, it's still like, but it's still left a lip print on my hand, so it isn't like the best matte liquid lipstick I've ever tried, because I know if you guys have actually tried the Kylie Liquid Matte Lipsticks, they are unbelievable, like, you kiss your hand after five seconds, and no product will like print onto your hand. So this is not like the best macro lipstick I've ever tried, but the formula is really, really nice. And again, easy to apply. And it is actually a really pretty shade overall. And I do actually think they've kind of, you know, blended quite nicely as well. So this is the end result. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. My overall opinions on new look makeup, I actually really, really rate it. Everything's so easy to apply. A couple of the things that I tried weren't really the colors that they actually looked in the packaging. So, I mean, that's the only downfall of the makeup, the fact that 
yeah, the colours weren't really what they look like. So definitely if you're going to try new look makeup, I would say, you know, actually try the colours in the store before you go home and try it on because the shades are a little bit different when you actually try them on your skin compared to what they look like in the packaging. Overall, I really did like using this makeup. If there's any more brands that you guys want to see me test out, then please let me know down below because I'm always looking through comments. I'm going to be replying to your comments in this video, so smash a like. Subscribe down below as well if you guys haven't already. But yes, that is it for me. That's enough rambling on, and hopefully I will see you guys very, very soon. Mwah. Bye!